Black Panther is directed by Ryan Coogler and stars Chadwick Boseman and Michael B. Jordan, as well as an incredible cast of characters, all of whom are played brilliantly. Black Panther picks up shortly after the events of Captain America Civil War, where we find T'Challa now thrust into his new role as the King of Wakanda, which is a highly advanced yet hidden city in Africa. One of the things that was most exciting to me about this Black Panther film is the fact that Coogler is directing. Being such a big fan of Coogler's two previous films, Creed and Fruitvale Station, I had a feeling that Black Panther was going to be in good hands. And in my opinion, Coogler is now three for three. He has directed three films, and I think all three of those have turned out to be extremely wonderful films. And what is most exciting about Ryan Coogler is the fact that he's just now getting into his early 30s. And it's going to be extremely exciting to see where his career goes from this point on. And consider me extremely excited for whatever the next project he picks happens to be. And one... One of the craziest things about Ryan Coogler is the fact that he's only a few years older than I am, which makes me start to question what I'm doing with my life. And I mean, with that said, obviously Black Panther is an extremely well-directed film. There are some truly beautiful shots in this film, and I love the use of real practical locations as well as the use of like bright, vibrant colors which just makes for an extremely beautiful film. And I have to mention, as for the city of Wakanda itself and its inhabitants, as well as the villages surrounding it, that it's just, it's amazing to look at. And one of my favorite aspects of Black Panther, and I'd actually be remiss if I didn't mention this, but the amount of detail that goes into the costume design for this film is, it's, it's crazy to think about how much detail has gone into some of these costumes. What I love most about the costume design is the sort of the blending together of like traditional African garb and design, but with like a futuristic, like modern twist on all of it. It's, it's truly amazing. The city of Wakanda itself, as well as its inhabitants, they look like something from a different world. And that's one of the things I love so much about this movie. And actually what's funny is it reminds me a lot of that planet in Thor Ragnarok. What was that? Uh, Sakaar, I believe it was. This looks like it was pulled right off of another planet. Okay, so Black Panther is well directed. It is a beautiful film. But the most important aspect I think that Black Panther gets right, and it gets it right in the best possible way, is how it builds its characters. What Marvel did so well and what makes them freaking geniuses is they did such a good job of introducing us and building up the character of T'Challa, Black Panther, in Civil War. So now that he gets his own film, what they do a really good job of is building up those characters that surround T'Challa, building up the city of Wakanda. This really, it's a Black Panther film, but what this film is, is about is the city of Wakanda itself, the nation of Wakanda. And this probably is not going to come as a surprise. If you've seen any reviews on Black Panther, you know how amazing of a job Michael B. Jordan does as Killmonger. The most impressive thing about Killmonger as a villain is the fact that he's not that traditional sort of like mustache twirling villain that's evil just to, just to be an evil, just to be a foil to our hero. Killmonger, he, his ideals and what he's trying, what he's striving for at the end of the day, it's something that you can kind of agree with. And if you think about it, it's not necessarily wrong what he's going for. Now, maybe the way he goes about it, it's 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 not the best way to go about something like that. But if you sit down and think about like what he is trying to achieve as a character, you realize like, you know, like he's he's not wrong with what he's trying to do. And it's that sort of character development that makes for the best villains. And in my opinion, Killmonger is the best villain that we've gotten in the MCU since Loki. And as long as we are talking about impressive characters, I have to give it up for my girl, Denai Guerrera. She has a few scenes in this movie that literally will leave you like, 
Oh, and with that said, I also have to mention how impressive Winston Duke was as M'Baku. I'm telling you guys, I think this guy, he's going... You need to keep an eye out for that guy. I'm extremely excited for what he gets into next. I think I think he is going to be a big deal going forward. One issue I had with Black Panther is an issue that I've actually had with a number of Marvel films. And we've hit a string of them here recently. I think I had the same issue in Homecoming, Ragnarok, and now Black Panther. And what that is, is several moments in each of those films with, I, I'll just... I'll just be honest here, highly, highly suspect digital effects. There are scenes in each of those films where the digital effects are to the to a, to a point to where it takes me out of the movie, where I'm highly invested in the movie, I am so into it, and then we get to a scene where it's so clearly actors on a green screen, so cl clearly bad CG, where it just it takes me right out of the movie and I, I i don't know what you do about that i mean obviously other films don't have those same problems other uh other franchises don't have those same issues well some other franchises have those same issues but marvel it seems to be a consistent issue and it's not the entire film but it's very specific scenes where i'm like what like what the heck am i looking at here and I just, I don't know, Marvel. Like, come on, you can, you can do better than that. I pro, I promise you can. And I also hate to call what I'm about to say a flaw with this film, because this is not the fault of Ryan Coogler. This is not the fault of Black Panther as a film. What this is a fault of is just the fact of being involved in a massive cinematic universe where we know the next. 10 films that are going to come out over the next few years or whatever it is. And that is when you are in such a situation to where, you know, you're getting another film here in a few months. It just, it, it takes the stakes for an individual movie and it severely lessens them. I don't know. Perhaps it's nothing to worry about, but I guess just my fear is, is that as this universe becomes larger and larger, that we could potentially care about these characters less and less. I don't know. That probably doesn't make sense, but in my brain it does. So before I give my grade for Black Panther, I wanted to jump into what Black Panther means as more than just a movie, but the event that I'm sure this is going to become. I wanted to just briefly talk about the cultural impact that I think this film is going to bring with it. And the fact that I think this is very much the movie that I'm perhaps maybe not just this country, but I think that this world needs right now as fans of these characters that for a lot of us out there, we have loved for decades in the form of the comics. And for a lot of us now, we are starting to fall in love with them due to these movies. Don't get me wrong when I say this, but we want to feel like this movie is for us. And in a way it is. This movie is, this movie is for everyone. But who this movie, I think, well, who truly benefits from this movie is like the, the eight-year-old kid who goes and sees Black Panther and realizes, hey, like, you know what? that guy can do something to make the world a better place like so can i it's for like the little girls who see this movie and see how badass the door melage are and realize that they can be a badass too and for the kids who see even even if you go behind the scenes and see a guy like ryan coogler who is now one of hollywood's hottest directors and he is like barely 30. they can see that and realize you know what I, I love I'm I love movies too and there's a chance that in a few years I could become a high-level director just like Ryan Coogler it's it's those kids that's that in my opinion I think Black Panther is truly for and I think it's those kids who are going to benefit most from a movie like this and with that said I give Black Panther an A plus so heroes what did you think about black panther did you love it or did you really love it 
let me know in the comments below. And if you want to keep up to date with all of the latest videos on the Hero Shot YouTube channel, including the Hero Shot podcast live every Wednesday, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I think it's somewhere around there. Thank you so much for checking out this video, heroes, and I will see you in the next one. Boom. I put a gun to a bunny like truth. Say something funny, your bunny go boom. You got a bevy of shit you could groom. We like to thank you for choosing our crew. And that's from the crew you can trust. Warranty plus for fucking shit up. We are the no